Our guest today is Darius Sabaitis. He is a very successful Lithuanian entrepreneur. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me here. When did you come to Chicago? I came in Chicago to in 2010, six years ago, only six years ago. Not so long ago. Not so long. And you're pretty successful so far. Um, I don't know, probably, yeah. What was your first job here? Uh, chef in the kitchen. Where was that? It was a Lithuanian restaurant in Le Mans. Uh, what, what is it called? Uh, it was Two Rivers Restaurant, Two Rivers Restaurant in, 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 in Le Mans, you know. The owner was Lithuanian lady. Okay. And, you know, I came here and I needed a job and she mm -hmm. offered me a job like, mm -hmm. it was, I remember, 13 or 14 dollars an hour. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't bad, you know. Not bad for a new Yeah, for new, for, for new job, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when did you start feeling comfortable in Chicago? You know, probably after a couple of years when I understood that, you know, like, I can work for somebody else, but all my life uh, I did something by myself, you know, so in Europe, I mean. And you had your own businesses there? Yes, and you know. In what areas? Uh, restaurant areas, mostly okay. restaurant areas, yeah. Restaurant business. Yeah. Uh, I lived in, in Portugal for 10 years, I worked in restaurants and, and mm -hmm. you know, like, and then they stood here that I need to do something, you know, what, by myself, because so you understood that you do not want to work here. as an employee. Right. You want to be a an entrepreneur. Yes, I want to run my business by myself. Okay. And what was your first business? Uh, sauna. We, sauna. Yeah, sauna. <laughs> we built a sauna with my friend, you know, and and. Um, so you invested, have a partner there. Yeah, I have a partner. He he invested a lot of money there, and I was like, you know, like uh, runner. I needed to to run that business, you know, like okay. start and run and so on. So we were pretty good, you know. That was a mm -hmm. nice business, and is I that like a it. big investment? How how much money did you? Uh, it was more more than a million dollar invested in that, in that sound, you know, because it's a high end. You know, everything is high end. You know, like uh, you invested only your money, or you? I invested my money, and he invested bigger part. The also. bigger part. Yeah, he invested bigger right. part. Yeah. But you know, the money is not everything. We invested our, our souls. hearts, souls, and hearts, you know, there, and <laughs> we did everything by ourselves there. You know. Uh, how many Lithuanians live in Chicago? Uh, around. People say one hundred thousand, but I think if we count everybody who is like undocumented, <laughs> it's yeah. going to be like two hundred fifty thousand, probably. Really? That's I think yeah. It, it must be. That's uh, not. That is not uh, a small number because uh, how. How big is the population of uh, Lithuania? It's only three million. Three million. Yeah. So let's say maybe eight percent are here. Eight percent are here. <laughs> yes. So Lithuanians seem to like Chicago. Yes. Yes. What do you like in Chicago? Lake Michigan. <laughs> Lake Michigan. <laughs> yeah, I, I like fishing. You know, so I, know. I love fishing. So. Uh, how, uh, where are they mainly located? Uh, are there any areas in Chicago in the suburbs where there are hmm. bigger concentrations? You know, I live in uh, southwest suburbs in Lamont, yeah. Lamont. So every neighbor is there, or Lithuanian or Polish. So I would say probably that intersection I-55 and I-355, yeah. Bolingbroke and around. I think it's the most Lithuanian community is there. Is this uh, a newly populated uh, area by Lithuanians, or that's why yes, they because the, from, the, from the beginning? Yeah, they, they were with most of Lithuanians 10 years ago, we were in Market Park. Market Park, right? Okay. Yeah, but you know, like a, a lot of new people came in and the crime started. So Lithuania needed to close their businesses and stores and restaurants there and move somewhere else, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there is, there is some, some of them still there. And there is a big, nice church in Market Park also, which is Lithuanian. And it's still visited by Lithuanians? Yes, of course. What is the, the religion there in Lithuania? Catholics. Catholics? Yeah. Okay, uh, you also have a show business. Yes. Uh, is this something that you started here in Chicago or you were doing that in Lithuania too? Uh, you know, actually, I have a, a lot of friends uh, which are in show business, like performers, promoters, and so on in Lithuania. And I always knew them, you know. Yeah. And um, when they came here, they were starting calling me, oh, you are in the United States, we want to come, we want to try. Can we you help us uh, organize a tour? Yeah. So I said, why, why not, you know. So Who's your first project? First project was, you know, everybody was bringing like one singer. My okay. project was, first project was seven Lithuanian singers, the best seven Lithuanian singers. Wow. What, yeah. is it, what was it called? Uh, it was a uh, summer rent festival. We called it summer rent festival, you know. Okay. Yeah. We rented the Max Center in at Makuk. Makuk. Okay. 
city and we made it fair and it was like you know not so much people came but probably how many people came in? probably 1200 people but only lithuanians you know we okay. were counting only lithuanians so so it's uh, so it's it's it's, it's, successful it's not project. a small it's not a small number for lithuanians to come to a concert you know like yeah financially uh, were you able to cover your expenses then uh, we lost a bit you lost a yeah. bit okay and what is your newest uh, project show business uh, my newest project you know last year i brought a uh, mother talking here okay and uh, this year um, I, ma i made it also in new york after that and you know this year i thought who is gonna and i'm gonna bring you know i need something bigger and you know mm -hmm. like like modern talking and mm -hmm. idea came like bonnie m why not to bring a bonnie m whose idea was that uh, my and my partners. Uh, I'm working with my partner from okay. California. He's doing the West Coast. I'm doing uh, here Midwest. Chicago, yeah, Midwest, Midwest, New York, and so on. So, but now we are doing the big projects of Bonia Modern Talking. Yeah, uh, we're doing uh, a tour: Chicago, uh, Los Angeles, um, Houston, and San Jose. All right. So basically, what you're trying to do is like uh, uh, organize tours on. West Coast, East Coast, and Midwest. You know, East Coast. I tried last year, and I'm a bit afraid of East Coast. Why is that? Uh, in New York, I did New York. You know, but it's very expensive city. The first thing. Okay. You know, uh, and uh, but it's a lot of thing, immigrants there. Another thing is like, if you want to do for the Russians, so you need to do the Brooklyn. You know, so yeah. they're gonna come. I did in 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 Manhattan. You okay. know, I took the nice theater in Manhattan. I okay. thought everybody is gonna come. No, Russians are telling that it's too far for them. Okay. You know, Polish You're talking came. about the yeah, modern but talking not, concert. Not, not everybody came. You know, like. Uh, You're talking about the modern talking concert. Yeah, about the modern talking concert. That's right. right. Yeah. So it's 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 a very big city and very difficult city. So Chicago is way easier. So you now uh, your next concert will be in the Rosman Theater, which right. is on the twelfth of August. Yeah, twelfth of August. It's in two couple. How many weeks. people can uh, attend uh, this concert in the Rosman? Forty-five hundred is exceeding capacity. Forty-five hundred. Well, yeah. So that must be an expensive, uh, you know, uh, theater. Yes, that's the probably most expensive in in Chicago area. Yeah, I, I think uh, a lot of people know the music of Bonnie M, like uh, all the generation people from Eastern Europe. Right, of course. Europe. Yeah. I don't know whether in America people know Bonnie M. Uh, Americans now probably know uh, mostly Eastern European countries. So uh, you're relying on uh, people from Eastern Europe? Yes, yes, because America, American market is, you know, like... Uh, I can I, I'm not like a multi multi-billionaire. Multi I cannot get to that market yet. You're not you know? doing mainstream show business. You're no. doing only uh, ethnic. Yes, show ethnic, business. ethnic, right? All right. So, uh, what is your favorite music? You seem to be. Uh, you know, it depends on the mood. You know, right. uh, for example, in my car, it's always like a chill out music. You know, like bossa nova or something like that. You're not. You're not listening to Bonnie M in your car. Uh, I listen to it at home. Mostly right. Fridays when I have some whiskey. Yeah, I like Bonnie M. Yeah, it's I like Bonnie M. Modern Talking because it's, it's it's a party music, you know. I think. Do you think that uh, you've been? Uh, do you feel yourself like you've been working for the last five years in Chicago? Uh, no, I worked what? probably harder in in Europe. No, why am I asking this question? It <laughs> seems like you seem to like uh, the sauna business and the show business like it's like uh, the, 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 the your own hobbies and uh, basically you're not working you're doing things that you like yes from one side it, it's true right from one side yeah you, but you need to like uh, what you're doing because anyways it's, it's so gonna be like you know you're technically not working you're just doing things that you enjoy right yeah and you're hopefully making some money hopefully yeah uh, from Facebook, I am a fan of your page in Facebook, and from the pictures in Facebook, uh, it seems to me like you like uh, you have other hobbies like traveling and fishing. Yeah, fishing is the first thing. You know, like uh, if I need to um, wake up at six a.m., it's very difficult for me to wake up at six a.m. to go to the meeting or something. You know, but, but if, if, it's, it, for if fishing, it's for fishing, yeah, I can wake up without alarm at five thirty, no problem at all. You know, what do you like about fishing? Uh, you need you you can relax at first thing you can relax you know yeah. for example you go to Lake Michigan for a salmon you know the phone is not working there yeah so you're just relaxing just you and the nature you know that's yeah. it you know yeah. uh, I'm not going in the big companies you know we if we are going like one person or two person that's it mm -hmm. you know so you can relax forget everything and and you know 
be able to in, the nat in the nature. So you're uh, recommending to people uh, to go fishing instead of, instead of uh, going to your sauna for relaxing? Mm. You know, sauna, relaxing at sauna, it's, 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 it's everything, you know, like sauna, we don't work in the summer, you know, in the summer we just rent the sauna for, for the private parties because nobody is going. Okay. So, so winter fishing, I don't like winter fishing because it's cold. I prefer to go to sauna in the winter, you okay. know, and fishing in the summer. Okay, so what you're saying is that uh, winter you go... To sauna. You go to the sauna, <laughs> yeah, summer you go fishing. Yes, that's right. <laughs> All right, so... Uh, if someone asks you, asks you to describe the mentality of the Lithuanian people, what would you say to him? Uh, you know, every everyone is difficult, is different. Yeah, you but know, there is uh, certain mentality to this of uh, this group of people. You certain know, specific I can't tell things specific about specific things. Um, it's difficult to tell. I don't know. They, they are very close people. They, they are not letting you in, you know, inside. Maybe most of them are like you. They are no, very I'm, independent. I'm, they don't I'm want to be employees. I'm they want to be like I'm entrepreneurs. very different Lithuanian uh, than, than anybody else. Lithuanian, oh, okay. you know, I'm very different. Okay. Yeah, Lithuanians, they are not letting you like inside of you and to, mm -hmm. you know, like when you talk to him, they are very, very cold, I think. Oh, know? really? Yeah. They at are the not beginning, so At the beginning. And okay, so you need to win their... Uh, you know mm, yeah you need to to win they, they need to like something like you know trust you they trust yeah okay uh what is your favorite uh, lithuanian dish uh probably it's a peline it's a peline yeah it's a can it's you a, it's a mashed explain potato. to it, the 12 viewers what yeah what it, does it look like this is like a mashed potatoes you know filled with uh, uh, meat and okay. you cook it half an hour yeah. and later with sour cream and bacon so that's a national lithuanian dish yes Yes. And it can be found here in uh, yeah, in some restaurants, yeah, in Lithuanian Lithuanian restaurants, restaurants, yeah. And can you teach our viewers one word in Lithuanian? Uh, let's say hi, maybe. Hi. Hi, yeah. Hi, Lithuanian is, is going to be labas. 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 So hi in Lithuanian is labas. Labas, yeah. That's a nice word. Thank you for coming, Darius. Thank you for inviting. Thank you for being with us. See you next time.